Ruby's first day. Today is Ruby's first day of school. She's going somewhere new. Last year it was an all white school. Now she can go there too. At school there is an angry crowd. They don't want her to go in. They yell and shout at her to stay out because of the color of her skin. Four guards are there to help keep her safe as she moves through the blockade. Ruby holds her head up high and tries not to be afraid. She's all alone in class today. Her classmates are nowhere in sight. Their parents don't want them in a school with a child who isn't white. Ruby eats her lunch alone and can't go out to play. The angry crowd is still inside when Ruby leaves for the day. They don't want Ruby at this school. They try to scare her away. But Ruby is a brave, strong girl. She won't let them stand in her way. Ruby Bridges grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. When she was young, black children and white children had to go to separate schools in the South. In 1954, a United States law said that all children had to go to the same schools. However, many schools in the South did not obey that law. In 1960, when Ruby was six years old, she became the first African-American child to attend an all-white school in the South. Many people did not want Ruby to go to the school. Every day they stood outside and tried to keep her from going to class. They couldn't stop her though. Ruby kept going to school, guarded by four U.S. Marshals. These are the Marshals right here. She didn't miss a single day. By the next school year, the angry crowd was gone and Ruby was no longer the only black student at school. Uh, here is a picture of a United States map, and if you look closely, this is Louisiana. Segregation was required in all of these lower parts of the South of the United States in the South: Florida, Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi. Segregation is the separation of people based on their race, meaning white, black, Hispanics. Before segregation became illegal everywhere in the United States, many states had their own laws. So if you see the red, that meant that segregation was required in 1953. If it's purple, that means that they could decide if it was white, that meant there was no laws, like up here and over here in like Arizona, California. And in the green, segregation was illegal. So you could not divide the students up. I hope you enjoyed this poem. This is a picture of Ruby Bridges, and this is an actual picture of what happened when she was going to school. They would have angry people yelling at a young child going to school. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.